Hey, it's Mike. Let's talk about Reaper. First off, don't judge what I'm wearing. It's Sunday. I'm being lazy. I was getting ready to record a video about a new plugin that I'm trying. It's Repitch by Synchro Arts, and I came across a bit of a problem. I do still want to make that video, but I wanted to do this real quick and hopefully show the problem that I'm having to see if some of you are having the same problem. I have submitted a support request to Synchro Arts, but again, it is Sunday, so I don't necessarily expect a response today. But let me show you what I've got going on. So this project that I have open is a new song that my bandmates and I are working on. I don't have all the vocals yet, but I did my initial pass through here using Retune in Reaper. And I wanted to test drive that against Repitch. Uh, you guys may remember I did a video about Retune versus Crispy Tuner from Brainworks, link up above. And in that video, I showed how I could get a similar, if not better, sound from Retune. I did like Crispy Tuner for some of the additional functionality that it had. But one thing that really bothered me was the lack of transport and play cursor sync between the plugin and Reaper. This was due to Plugin Alliance or Brainworks or whichever of the two entities removing rewire support from the plugin. My understanding is that a few DAWs, namely Logic, seem to work well with the plugin as is, but they have yet to integrate Aura, Era, however that word is pronounced, to provide that same level of sync. Another thing that I didn't like about Crispy Tune is it doesn't have pitch preview, so when you're dragging the notes to the desired pitch, you can't hear it until you play back the recording. This was something that I wanted to test out Repitch to see if it had, because it does have the proper ERA or ARA integration, and I'm finding that the transport syncs just fine. Now, I guess I don't want to get too much into it because I want to save some for my actual review of this plugin, but let me give this uh, first verse a pass. I'll do it first without Repitch, and then I'll turn on Repitch and let you hear what it does, and then I can hopefully demonstrate the problem. Let's get started. So that's my scratch vocals for this track, and as you can hear, there are parts where I'm a little bit sharp, there are parts where I'm a little bit flat. I am by no means a perfect singer. So I'll go in and enable repitch. I'll start from the same place, and let's see how it sounds. I really like the sound of this. It sounds much more natural than other tuning plugins that I've used before. Again, I will save all the details for when I do an actual video review of this, but let me see if I can replicate the problem I had before. Um, so when I rendered this audio, I had problems with the audio being warped and slow. Now this was tracked at 48K. You can see up here at the top of the dialog in Reaper, this is 48K, 24-bit. And I want to take this same section of audio that we just listened to and render that. So I will go to render. I'll choose time selection. Stick it on the desktop. And I'm going to kick this out as a 44.1 MP3 file. Bit rate is listed at 160. Let's crank it up a little bit further and just see what happens. And I'm going to do this in full speed offline mode. So I'll click render. All right, now that bit of audio has been rendered, so let's open up that folder and let's play this back and see what we get. Oh. 
You get the idea. For whatever reason, it sounds like the, uh, well, doesn't sound like it is. The vocals started much slower. It seems like the play rate is wrong, uh, which of course is making the pitch wrong. Now let's go back and listen to the project and see how it is back in the project. Everything is fine back in the project, but I cannot get anything to render with that plugin um, and have it sound correct. Now, I've had a few other people on my Discord server to test, and so far, the, the few that have tested have not been able to replicate the same issue. So, I'm definitely waiting on feedback from Synchro Arts because I would love to use this plugin. It's easy to use, it sounds good, it's very transparent to my ear, but if I can't render it, what's the point? I'd like to have a few more of you guys test and see if you can replicate the issue and possibly come up with some ideas. My theory is that it's got to do with the plugin not enjoying the sample rate switching. So when I kicked that out at 44.1, of course there's a sample rate difference, but just to test that theory, let's run this one more time. I think I've already done all this before, but just to be sure, we'll kick this up to 48 to match the current sample rate of the project and not have to do any switching there. Are there any other options in here that could possibly cause a problem? Now, in my previous testing, I also tried doing a one-time speed, real-time render, just in case it was something to do with running it in a faster time, but I got the same results. Let's see what we get this time at uh, 48K instead of 44.1. I'll go ahead and overwrite that test that I just did. I noticed that is going through a bit faster. My last render, I believe, was 4 speed. This is 5.6 speed. And let's give this a test and see what we get. And that sounds just fine. So I may be onto something with that whole sample rate theory. Again, if some of you guys and girls would like to test and let me know, uh, I can just use this to help support my ticket with Synchro Arts, and I'll follow up once I hear back from them as well. Thanks for checking out the video. Uh, of course, as always, if you like what you're seeing, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, even though this is not my typical video, not necessarily educational content. It's just me asking for help to see if any of you guys have the same problem. So with that said, we'll see you next time.